Bum, bum, bum. Thursday. Welcome aboard, folks. It's Thursday at Murder Hobo Inc. You know what that means? Our soap opera from Cacophony. The days of Cacophony. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool shit, it's down there. If you want to join us in chat on Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to join in, sit in on a one shot and play, or join us on the talk show, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, let us know. Next Saturday, not this Saturday, next Saturday, we've got a one-shot coming up. Only one seat left. Three quasi-brand-new murder hobos are going to uh, do something. Uh, folks, this is Cacophony. You know what that means. It's all urban. If uh, this is your first time joining us, welcome aboard. It is for mature audiences. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for giving us shit that rolls high. Maybe tonight I kill somebody with Big Red. And of course, oddfishgames.com. Oddfishgames.com. If your game stinks, eh, pick up some scent packets and uh, make it smell a whole lot better. Uh, speaking of stinking, let's interview the stinking cast and see who they are. We will start with our youngest, now an old lady. Uh, <laughs> happy belated birthday to Caitlin. Caitlin, who are you? It's and her who birthday is only yesterday. It's not that belated. <laughs> there you go. We didn't have a special birthday game. He still hasn't for you. wished his niece happy birthday. Oh my goodness. That's true. But that's only like two months. <laughs> Caitlin, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I am Daphne. I am playing my tea playing paladin. <laughs> I think that's what I am. <laughs> it's loading. <laughs> And to celebrate always being a tea playing, we got some nice tea playing horns. <laughs> wow we'll go with wow uh next up is david david same question different hi <laughs> i'm david and uh tonight i'll be playing zadar he is a changeling arcane trickster uh his his gender traits uh tend to be fluid so it's whatever whatever way he's thinking so or she so well tonight you're still mm -hmm. billy idol Come on. Yep. I don't think I'm going to change in front of everybody. <laughs> Coward! Uh, last but certainly not least, normally behind the camera. Tonight she is both behind and in front of the camera. Our producer, Carrie. Carrie, who are you and who are you playing? Well, right now I'm babysitting a very anxious dog for some reason. And I'll be oh, playing no. <laughs> Camille. <laughs> no, she's good. Uh, this is Trixie. Say hi, Trixie. Um Camille, a wizard necromancer who likes coffee and casting fog cloud. Well said, folks. <laughs> if you uh, saw the episode two weeks ago, you realize that these three are in the Husco, the can, the pen, the jail, the gray bar hotel because because they walked in and they were stupid. <laughs> uh, folks, these guys are investigating the attempted assassination of Councilman Arawa the Elf. They have been doing so for several sessions now. Last week they were interviewing uh, someone who slipped Zadar a vial of poison, uh, hoping to get some answers. Instead, their previous escapade, escapades had led them to Lucky Luciano, one of the syndicate members. A fight ensued and these three kill them uh but don't hey. worry folks star <laughs> took his form uh continued to shake down businesses and daphne the tiefling purchased legally a uh lgbtq flag uh and wore it around sadly the flag is stained in blood now courtesy of the two females on the cast they were the ones that mentioned she was having her period thereby letting Zadar and I mention it without fear of reprisal of being misogynistic pigs. So you three are in jail. You are with Sandra O, oh, the purveyor of the poison vial. You have met with uh, your guild master, Famunda D's Nuts. You have told him where your missive stash is at, that Zadar is hidden in the guild house. And you have met new friends in the form of Gibble and Harris, 
Gnome Investigators Extraordinaire. They are the homes and homes of cacophony, if you will. Uh, they too are great admirers of coffee, and as they've pointed out to Camille, that's good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> So as you sit in jail, uh, Famunda D's Nuts has left. You are locked in. You are under the watchful eye of the guard, even though Skippy Lee, halfling shit thief, uh, is being a nuisance by clanging along the bars. Saint, Attica! Attica! Uh, Saint Galaga! Galaga! <laughs> <laughs> oh console game reference there young daphne uh so mm -hmm. you three are with sandra O. Oh. sandra O oh has decided to leave her back against the wall now that you guys have been labeled as murderers daphne has dressed up the old pad with her uh bloodstained <laughs> flag and all of the small items that she carries around i'm guessing it kind of looks like a teenage girl's dashboard with little hippos and stuff dogs. she's got like that. troll figurines yeah, and stuff so like that the yeah. so, hawaiian lady nice yes <laughs> got it got to get the shaker in there so what mm -hmm. would you three like to do here now that you are residents of cacophony's shithole so other than shithead down the way are there any other prisoners in here there sure are again okay, i'm gonna start decorating our style to make it feel homey Sure, you're gonna be there a while, so I was about to say. <laughs> like I said, I hung up the tapestry. You know, I hung it up, <laughs> found some a loose sock, shoelaces, make it look pretty. Sandra <laughs> O is going to be sleeping with one eye open with you three in the cell. <laughs> Uh, Skippy Lee is not happy. He reports that his piss bucket is full. Uh, Galaga, Galaga, <laughs> which I don't know what that is. Uh, there are two other individuals in there. Everybody roll for investigation. Let's see if you recognize these guys. Oh, Lord. 18? Uh, 17. Where the hell is that at? Oh. Oh, 21. All three of you recognize uh, the two individuals in the cell next to you as sailors, and you're pretty sure you've scuffled with these guys at some point in time, perhaps down at the grindhouse. Yeah. yeah. Probably. <laughs> At least we initiated something and then snuck out. But do out. they remember that? Probably not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're not in the same cell. They're in another cell. They're in the next cell over. Are so they... there's no. There's not even any connection. Are they sober? But this <laughs> is what you're seeing. Uh, okay. So I lean over and I'm like, so how are you guys? How's your day going? Well, my balls are no longer blue since the last time you smacked them with the staff, lady. Why don't you shove it up your ass? It was an accident. Surely there was fog cloud around. I didn't, I didn't know where I was, you know, swishing that it, thing around. His associate says, hey, you guys want to see a magic trick? No. Oh. Yeah. Yes. This is a magic trick. Woo! Poo! <laughs> <laughs> Lifts up his shirt and lays back on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, these guys are not your biggest fans. Well, what do you Maybe mean? some big shit in the guild, but in here you're just inmates number seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, he's not gonna. They don't recognize me, so yeah. <laughs> they were attracted by the lovely ladies and then remembered that one of the lovely ladies shattered a testicle with his staff. <laughs> right. And actually, I think you did that when uh, Carol was here. So they might not even recognize Daphne either. Oh, that's true. That's true. So what are you guys in here for anyway? Future murder. What is this, Minority Report? <laughs> I'm going to future murder you when I get my hands around your neck. 
The one points out that they slugged a guard with no chin. With no chin? Frank Burns. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, man, I'd give you a high five good for, for you. that. Good, good job. We from, deserved it. From the next cell over, you hear the voice of Skippy Lee point out, well, I could have used you yesterday. <laughs> So, did you both slug him? Is that why you're both here? What are you, a snitch? <laughs> uh, no, we're writing a fucking book. <laughs> it's a real crime here. novel. So, they're a rock star. Why don't you kiss my ass, make it a love story? <laughs> <laughs> they uh, appear to be rather belligerent and abusive. <laughs> maybe the tiefling could sweet talk them. No, they haven't seen her before. Yeah. I don't know these people. They just put me in the cell. Look how pretty it is. You on your period? <laughs> <laughs> says, wow. Yes, I'm safe. Really smooth, guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're drunken sailors. What are you? Hello, my lady. How are you? Is there that a would have been nice. I might be able to take you to? Yeah, these guys are at the lower end of the. Uh, they're on the lower right. decks. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're definitely not officers. They're not here for their seduction skills. No. <laughs> uh, a few moments later, the door opens up. Uh, the female guard who has been watching over you turns to see another guard bringing in a woman who is wearing rather descriptive clothing, uh, indicating that she might be from an older profession, possibly mm. the world's first. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Skippy Lee uh, just stares at her in admiration while the two sailors begin to go ahead and make suggest suggestive remarks about how they have plenty of room in their cell. Uh, <laughs> The two guards come over to your cell, unlock the gate, and shove Paulina into your cell. She whips her um, boa over the head, uh, catching crappy feathers in the male guard. <laughs> Isn't this getting a little crowded in here? Yeah. Why yeah. is she in with us? You know the guards. The guards. The guards are curious about that. And you know what? Why are we keeping him in here? You <laughs> out. <laughs> Who's she talking? Who are you talking? You. Me? Yeah, because male versus. You're a female. male. Oh. Well. So you're gonna go in with the sorta, sailors? Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, the I'm sailors gonna... are like, "Hey, guard. Uh, he can bunk with us. It'll be fine." <laughs> Zadar, it's time for a D12 to see if you get two roommates or just Skippy Lee. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, D12. God damn it. I was just like, oh, I rolled high. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, seven. Three. Uh, shut up, shut up. They stuff you in the same cell as Skippy Lee. Oh. <sighs> He goes, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey, do you have any gold on you? Asking for. Does it look like I have any gold on me at the moment? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't checking you out. I was checking the horns out. Oh. oh. And I found out she was on her period, so that's a no. -go. <laughs> yeah, so that's a no, huh? That, that, that's a soft pass. Huh? Uh, the Can second... I? How do you think yeah. work? Ooh, nice. Maybe it's molten lava. Oh. <laughs> so Hot uh, stuff. It's like, you know, what you need. So let's talk to Pauline, see if she knows anything about what's going on around town. <sighs> yeah, the cops are rousting me. Well, they're rousting everybody. But, and she takes off a shoe, and there is an aroma. Oh. <laughs> At least I can get out of these. Pops the other shoe off. It's a worse. <laughs> she plops down next to Sandra O, oh, and she's like, "So what are you ladies in here for? I don't recognize you from the docks at all." For <clears throat> being a female. Yeah, we're 
We've been <laughs> discriminated against because we're female and I'm short and she had her period. Oh, well, that makes you safe. Yeah. So there's that, I guess. Uh, what are you hitting her for? And Sandra points out that she's just a protester, just waiting for her bond to be reached. What were you protesting? Women's rights? Uh, no, I was protesting the... Uh, uh, oh, God, I had a nice speech ready for this a couple weeks ago. I was about uh, to say. <laughs> I, I'm protesting uh, uh, our leader getting locked up in the government building. The mummy. <laughs> <laughs> The leader of our religion is uh, being held unconstitutionally in the government building. Because the female is leader. It, right? Is it Emotep? <laughs> Not anymore. You fuckers killed him. Yeah, we did. <laughs> mm. uh, how do you know he's there? Everybody knows he's there. He's been there for like 30 years, ever I, since they dug him up. I think he left. He wasn't there the last time we were there. Oh, are you guys government agents? Well, we had. Had Agents go. of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> we had to go in and talk to... What's the this? janitor. Well, the janitor, of course. Swabby Steve. Swabby Steve. Mm, Swabby Steve. And what's her, Zephyr's dad and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Zoran Zep Zephyr? Yes. Yeah. Are you guys like friends or something? We helped retrieve his daughter, that's all. Enemies? Frenemies, yeah. So you help him? He paid us. So you do anything for coin, huh? Mm. That gets the attention of the sailors. <laughs> <laughs> we do have well, some almost standards. anything. Yeah. Not many. We are uh, heroes, you know. Odd even. Or you know what? Let's make it interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. Uh, one of them goes over to the other side and looks at Zadar and goes, you do anything for money? <laughs> Not that. Not, Not that. that. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen Spy with Melissa McCarthy, you gotta see that movie. <laughs> Skippy says, I do anything for money. He would, actually. Mm, that's true. He would. Uh, there is a commotion just outside the door and you hear... A Vagoda say, you got two minutes, make it fast, visiting hours are over. Uh, the door screeches open, the two guards turn around to see Fumunda D's nuts walk in. Uh, they look around and notice you're in separate locations, uh, and he asks if the guards can step away for a minute. And uh, I don't know, let's see if the guards do. Yeah, the guards don't give a shit. They're going to go on coffee break. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh, they, they get go coffee. outside. Uh, the door clicks, so it is locked. Famunda walks in, looks out, makes sure everybody's gone. He's like, okay, I found the stuff where, where exactly where you said it was hidden, but it doesn't make any sense. Is there anything else you can tell me that I can get you guys sprung out of here? Well, we do have a potential witness, but, I mean, we got to get a hold of her before she gets shipped out who's this potential witness uh zephyr uh sandra she oh again says oh first name basis awesome <laughs> hey don't diss the little goth chick so where can i find this zephyr uh well i mean try try your parents residence mm. So, you want me to go to a city councilman's house to talk to his daughter in the evening. The only other place I know she daughter. hangs out is Old Town. Yeah. So, somewhere out on Old Town Road. <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can do. All right, um, I'll get the others out there and uh, we'll start The reason her. why I mentioned her uh is because she she's she's the one that handled the box with the missives so so she knows where it came from who it came from in particular so i mean and that we're good people yeah besides that you know we're heroes mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. 
the lady of the evening points out, hey, don't I know you? Uh, Flamanda takes one look at her and goes, no, you do not. <laughs> <laughs> I could get to know you. Flamanda, classy as ever, goes, no, you are not. Um, okay, I will see what I can. About that time, the door opens up. A pagoda is like, time's up. Let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, Flamanda says, I, I will do my best. Thank you. We, we will get everybody together and we will scour the city and we will try and get you an answer. One thing. Did you guys really kill this guy? Mm -hmm. He left us no <laughs> choice. <laughs> oh, yeah. We killed that fucker. <laughs> Plausible deniability. We say nothing. We murdered that son of a bitch. <laughs> he fell <laughs> onto a short sword. So, I mean, you know. Three times, at least, it was his suicide <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Uh, why did you guys throw him in the hay thing? We were trying to get rid of him. <sighs> you guys aren't helping. Okay. Uh, Abe's like, <laughs> now. Let's go now. Uh, they come by. Uh, the two guards return in. Uh, one has a bucket. One has a ladle and bowls. Who's hungry? Me. Skippy, Me. Skippy raises both hands. Uh, you guys all going to eat? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> the food smells worse than the hooker's feet. So roll Constitution at disadvantage to see if you like it. Oh. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> you just like put it to the side, like hold on to it. You may need it. That's true. You gotta keep your strength uh, up. Skippy got a nat twenty and an eight. eight. Me too. You got a nat twenty and an eight. Very nice. Uh, you and Skippy do not enjoy the taste of the gruel. Daphne, were you going to eat it? No, I'm just going to hold on to it. Gotcha. The uh, sailors have no taste buds left, so they will roll naturally. Uh, a 10 and an 18. Uh, they love it. You, you going to eat that? You going to eat that? Uh, the two you guards. trade for it? <laughs> <laughs> what you got, sailor? My man bits. <laughs> <laughs> he should whip it out but i'll wait uh, one of them farts loudly so we'll go with that uh the guards are like lights out go to bed uh and they blow the candle out you can hear scuffling behind daphne and uh, camille uh sandra take the goddamn bed <laughs> Sandra O oh has weaseled her way into the corner and she's got her knees up to her chin in a defensive posture and that is how she's going to sleep tonight. I lean into her and I go, do you know Villanelle? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of him. Uh, Zadar, you notice that Skippy Lee has already assumed the position on the bed and seems to be scratching his genitals. Oh. Uh, you can... <laughs> roughly assume he has fleas or worse would you like to join him in the bed hell no <laughs> fair enough uh daphne and camille are you taking the bed well there's four of us uh no uh sandra O oh is not going anywhere near that bed she is in the corner of the room and where's Pauline? <laughs> i'm gonna look, sit next to her with, uh sandra that's not going to help her personality but that's <laughs> fair uh camille uh d12 let's see if pauline is a bitch or not 11 a one uh she understands that you're a murderer so how does she know that sandra o is backed into the corner and nobody backs themselves into a corner in the jail <laughs> does the bed look clean <laughs> Oh, yeah. It looks like turndown service from the Hilton. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I flip it over to the other side, and I'm like, fuck it. I get on and go to sleep. It has a thread count of six. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, uh, the night passes fitfully for everybody, uh, mm -hmm. as there is just a cool breeze coming through the jail. Uh, in the morning, you all awake. Uh, the sailors are hung over. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys are a little bit crampy uh, and cold. How were they hung over? They were drunk. Oh, when they came in, I was like, what are they drinking? Like toilet wine? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, they're making out a reason. Yeah, we haven't che <laughs> checked the chamber pot, so. Oh, Skippy Lee's sweet. He's got diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were drunk. That's why they kicked uh, the shit out of Frank Burns. That's why they stopped serving bread. <laughs> you know? uh, the morning comes in. New crew. New crew of uh, guards. You don't recognize these guys either. Uh, they come in and they check on you. <clears throat> yeah, they're all here. <clears throat> uh, hey, nope. uh, excuse me, do you have any coffee? Please? Sure. sure. Anything else I can get for you? Eggs? Uh, slice of kiss my ass, maybe? Oh, just some coffee would be nice. Sure, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Uh, <laughs> the guards leave short time later. Uh, one of the guards returns. And goes, which one of you is Sandra O? Oh. Protester raises her hand. Bail's been made. You're getting out. Uh, she looks at Daphne uh, skeptically. Uh, weaves past all three of you in that cell. Goes to the front door. And they escort her out. The last thing you hear as she goes through the door is, who bonded me out? And? You do not hear the response. We do not hear the response. Damn it door shuts you guys are on your own yet again what would you like to discuss uh bruh. well I mean... my good man you have a moment to get out of my way or i will smash through this door habeas corpus is it mortimer from the door opens up and mortimer j sneed uh with a sheaf full of papers enters i am a barrister where i am from you shall go ahead and heed my fair warning young man friends friends strangers morty i am here uh your employer has sent me here and i believe i have found the necessary information to go ahead and spring you from this lecherous prison the uh hooker goes hey morty <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Does, not, I, not now, my dear. I am on company doesn't business. Expect payment from him either. <laughs> Is he Podrick? <laughs> uh, I am. I am. I am on official business here, my friends. This one and these two over here. Uh, they need to come with me. Post haste. Expel them from this vice-ridden shithole. Oh, I think I go with waste. Like we're rhyming. <laughs> not that clever so and, and i am no rapper clearly i am no rapper uh i'm into the seduction mm. uh <clears throat> so uh the guards do as mortimer says wow for some reason he must have some pull here uh and he begins to expound upon uh his abilities of investigation as he taught at the grand academy mortimer Before mortimer talked, mortimer, uh, mortimer it, it, can we get out of here? Yes, we are getting out of here. I have found the answer. Yay. A witness has stepped forward. Excellent. Can we go for breakfast now? I suppose. Um, Lead the way, Mortimer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys are sprung out of the thing. Uh, Before I leave, I cast Maytan. It's got a 30-foot range. It just extends to a cell and flips off the sailors. Nice. nice. I was going to uh, say you scratched their balls. I could that, that is going to piss them off and give me the opportunity. <laughs> uh, as you exit the cell, the cell door is slammed on Skippy Lee's hand as he was trying to get out with a nat one. Oh, poor Skippy. And his hand is now crushed between the bars and he is screaming loudly. Mortimer says, post haste, post haste. We must go now. Uh, so bad. The two guards are working on trying to get it open. Uh, the sailors... Put some uh, piss on it. It'll help lubricate it. It's not a jellyfish bite uh <laughs> sailors look at zadar and say we'll be seeing you again uh daphne are not you if i see your, you first <laughs> your blood-stained flag with you oh are you taking it or are you leaving yeah. it for the next person i'll leave it for the next person i'm going to nice and pretty very kind of you uh you guys step out and the 
exterior office is a hive of activity, including two familiar faces who are poring over documentation and are currently interviewing Hebo. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I think it's probably best if we just make our way out right now. Yeah, I think so. Not so I... fast, my friends. Let's wait a moment. Okay. Uh, you wait a minute, and Hebo looks over, <clears throat> and he's doing some motions to you three. Uh, Harris and Gibble turn around and see you. <sighs> Feelings mutual, bitches. <laughs> They're listening. Uh, Harris turns around. <laughs> oh, so I'm on my way to get some of my own. Uh, right back at I you. cast Mage Hand and tip the cup. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Uh, give me an attack roll to see if you spill it in his lap. Oh, yeah, we need our shit back, too. Yeah, not with, uh, let's see. <laughs> what kind of modifier am I adding to my... Dexterity. Dexterity? Oh, okay, that's not bad. Uh, 13. <laughs> not very good, but you do manage to spill a little bit on him. Okay. Um, uh, Mortimer asks, did you guys come in with your stuff? Yeah, we had weapons. Mm -hmm. All of our shit. Go over to the desk, Sergeant. Uh, do you guys have any documentation showing that? <laughs> Actually, I do. <laughs> Uh, the desk sergeant takes it. Stuff. <laughs> Stuff. Great. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> you are allowed to pick out your belongings. You are allowed to retrieve your belongings. Uh, during that time, Harris and Gibble are busy with Hebo, and they don't seem to give a shit that you're getting out. Hmm. Okay. okay. Interesting. Once you get your belongings and you get outside to fresh air and uh, get that prison scent off of you, uh, Mortimer is like, okay, any questions? How did you get us out? It was quite easy. The scientific methodology behind my technique uh, was... Uh, uh, dumb it down. Yeah, you're, you're dealing you're with... You're way above us. Yeah. Hebo's wife killed... Frankie Two Fingers. Hmm. Okay. Okay, how does that relate to us? With Frankie Two Fingers out of the picture, Hebo was able to go ahead and point out that you guys were actually innocent. Frankie Two Fingers had been oh. at the crime scene and threatened Hebo with bodily harm that he would come back and kill his family if he did not agree that you three were the suspects and not his associates. So how did the, how did the wife do it? Clubbed him with a candlestick at <laughs> in, the, in, in what room? <laughs> uh, actually it was next door at Chuck the Coopers. Not even in the house. So is she going to be okay? Oh yeah, she's fine. She looks like uh, Daphne's flag. Well, but I mean, she's not going to go to jail, is she? No. Oh, and flat and blood all over. Is she available for us to speak to? I suppose. I don't know where she's at, though. Where are you going with this, Cammie? <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll have plenty of time. All we'll, right. we'll, we'll send her a fruit basket. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Sure. I'm sure there's an edible arrangement. <laughs> I was trying to, yeah. What is the name of that? Okay, so we need to go to the Flying Java. Okay. I know where that is. Uh, as you guys Either move way. through. So as, as we're walking, it's just like, I put my arm around Martin. I go, I read that, your guide. It is very, very good, my friend. You know, I've been working on it ever since I came here on sabbatical from the Grand Academy. I feel that the details in that book go ahead and elaborate the consistency of this particular fine community to the greatest extent that I could have. I am considering making additional adjustments as I, Mortimer J. Sneed, will be leaving Cacophony in the near future to go to a neighboring city. Why? Possibly. Before you leave, Mortimer. To broaden my horizons. I have a question for you. Do you have any sway with admissions to the Grand Academy? Only that I sit on the board myself. Oh. Okay. 
I may have a perspective for a new student at the Grand Academy. Well, we only accept uh, students every 10 years. I know. I'm trying to see if there's a possibility you can make an exception for this one. I will consider it, but that is a very big favor. Aha! Here we are, the flying Java. <laughs> have you tried their coffee in here? It tastes great. I it is have. delicious. So I go I mean, in and I buy I I buy Mortimer a the cup that you can refill with coffee, and I give it to him. Very I refill nice. mine. You guys, it's on the house. Uh, it's the never never ending coffee goblin. Exactly. There we go. Uh, anybody else gonna order anything? Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> Yeah. I'll order uh yeah, a cappuccino and a pastry. Uh fair enough. Daphne? Some peppermint tea. And if they have it, a biscotti. Mm, yum yum yum. They will have that. Mm -hmm. Uh are you a member of our rewards team? Why of yes we are. We are. Can I we see cards? We produce our cards. <laughs> uh, Camille, they look at yours. Did you do this? <laughs> no, I would never do that. No, we didn't do I that. I love this place. Come on. Okay. You know I come here every day. Yes, I do. Uh, she's just kind of curious as to why somebody would deface one of our cards. Kibble and Harris. <laughs> yeah, we were away from our belongings, so chances are they were tampered with. <laughs> Do you know the, the, the gnome named Harris that comes here all the time? Oh, yes. Uh, the speckled individual fancies himself an investigator. Exactly. <laughs> he was telling me, I don't know why he comes here, but he says that your coffee tastes like piss and there are rat turds in your pastries. I see. Persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> she should get advantage with that. Uh, common customer. Uh, eight. <laughs> oh, that Harris. He is such a prankster. Uh, your <laughs> items are delivered. Uh, Mortimer J. Sneed is drinking out of his cup. Uh, so, my friends, uh, we have successfully gotten you out of prison. Uh, you are not facing charges at this time. Uh, however, it is my opinion that we should probably go ahead and see uh, who is responsible behind this because I don't think it was Frankie Two Fingers uh, because he was stupid. No. Did you have a chance to peruse the missives? That yes, I did. Clearly, these three are in league with someone named DeLuca. Uh, mm -hmm. probably a crime boss of some type. I don't really want to speculate on their sex. It could be male, could be female, could be changeling. Mm -hmm. um, I can't yes, wink. <laughs> I think it would probably behoove all of you uh, to find these individuals and question them. I understand mm. that Mr. Luciano is already dead, as is Frankie Two Fingers. So that only leaves Pretty Boy Floyd. Oh, yes. He was at the jail. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why was he yeah. in the jail? Uh, he was in the company of a young lady. Pauline? Pauline's oh. still in prison. Oh. Mm. Why would he bail her yeah. out? <clears throat> Wait, we think it's a daughter? Uh, it is Sandra O. Oh. Yeah, so why would he bail Sandra? No pun intended. I'm like, oh. Oh, bail? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not bang, bail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could know, bail from the jail. She was working for Frankie too. Uh, but she was boy. the one that gave you the potion, right? <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, she was. Hmm. As I recall. There was something mentioned about a toxin involving those three. Didn't you guys mention that you had found a toxin? Yes, we have. Where did you come about that? From the person that uh, was seen with Pretty Boy. Great Scott! Great Scott! Yes! You know what this means! <laughs> what? He is in danger! 
Oh, Lord. Grave danger. Mm -hmm. Is there another kind? There is no other kind other than grave danger. <laughs> we must find this person. Where should we look? I say Alfredo's. Or do the protesters have a... They do a, have a good rotini. Huh? Do the protesters have a hideout, a lair? A lair? What are they, vampires? <laughs> <laughs> this is cacophony, and I, I got to pull say. adventures out of my ass, so... You know, something overlooking the ocean, you know. <laughs> uh, everybody give me perception checks. Although I oh. could go for some food. Okay. Uh, perception is 13. Oh, I'm rolling 13s today. 18. Okay, oh, we'll my goodness. I'm just picking the tea leaves out of my tea. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what you got, girlfriend? Fourteen, fourteen, <laughs> and a hundred to see me. Nice. <laughs> so she uh, literally was. <laughs> pulling out of that wasn't a character choice. That was real life. That was real life. Camille, you happen to remember that there were protesters outside the government area again? I did remember. What? I think we need to go there. Camille, as you guys walked by uh, the plaza, the protesters were preparing for yet another day of trying to release uh, Oksana Moon <laughs> from captivity. Right. Amhotep, who is no longer there. That's right. Mm -hmm. So how are they keeping that hush-hush? What? That he's not there anymore. There's an angry crowd out there. You don't really go out there and say, hey, by the way, we fucked up your God. <laughs> well, I was going to say, your God is dead. <laughs> You're not going to tell him that. You just say, he decided to leave and go somewhere else and not tell you. We're going to Star Trek 3 it and point out, uh, or Star Trek 4 it, and point out that uh, we wanted to keep it hush-hush and uh, we didn't want the crowd noise to affect it. Exactly. Oh, okay. A lot the sabotage fans. started playing, start playing in the background. <laughs> So, nice. Just awesome. kidding. Awesome. Um, anyway, all right. So we're walking past the crowd, or you have gone all the way past mm -hmm. to get to the flying J, and then you're back up to the government. Uh, protest is. It's still early morning. Clearly, none of the council members are here yet. Just the guards. Mm -hmm. um, They're getting their signs ready and things like that. That's right. Camille D12 against me. One. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. Mm -mm. Come on, Camille. Six. Uh, it is apparently Swabby Steve's day off. Aw. Oh. Swabby Steve. He, he is well, not he to deserves be seen. a day. Yeah. yeah. He's probably nursing his nuts from the last <laughs> probably. <visit. laughs> Camille Nutcrasher. He had uh, coming. <laughs> Is the protesters are fiddling around getting things ready. Would you like to talk to them? Yes. Sure. You are going to find an older male. Hmm. Do you need signs? Uh, actually, Here's your sign. <laughs> My I'm name is to... Ingvald. <laughs> Ingvald. Has figured it out did yeah there yes. bill billing vault bill, bill. okay mr ingvall <laughs> we were looking for an associate of yours actually that we've met recently uh sandra oh she's in jail mm, no we saw her get out we have not seen her yet hmm we hope that she will return she is our best mouthpiece does she meet you here or do y'all meet somewhere else and then kind of we meet proceed here. here? Okay. Do you know where she lives? She lives in one of the tenement buildings. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, Are you sure you don't want to help us try and uh, expunge Emotep from uh, his made up crimes from the government? You got a little dust on you too, by the way. You know, yeah. I, heard a, <laughs> I heard a rumor that he left. Well, he didn't get up and walk out. Well, you're not, you're not watching the building the whole time. 
We have a, a young associate that keeps an eye on her at night. Oh, who would that be? I don't know. Dresses in dark clothing. Very secretive. Mm. Female? Mm. Yes. As a matter of fact, she is. Okay. Halfling? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think she's a normal person. Mm. Okay. She's short. Short. There we go. Zephyr? I don't know what her name is. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. No, there was that other associate. I think her father works here or something. Mm. Oh, yeah, it was Zephyr. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So do we go to the tenements looking for her or do we go to the restaurant? Mm. What time of day is it? Morning. Morning. Freitas isn't going to be open so yet. So it's not time for lunch yet. Nope. I guess the tenements. Uh, if you've looked at Sneed's guide, he will point out to you that there are several tenements in uh, Cacophony. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Mortimer's still here. Mortimer, yep. give us a tour. Well, which section of town would you like to visit? Well, we she are is right here at the, mar uh, the merchants. We need to go to well, the tenements. Well, there is a tenement in the merchants uh, section. We can check there if you'd like. We can start there then. Mortimer takes you, uh, annotate, stamp, heart. <laughs> you guys are here. Okay. This is the tenement. Uh, do you want to go through the alleyways or do you want to take the long way around by Artie's armor? Uh, la, 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 la. Is there anything on the way that I want? Um, uh, We'll, we'll go through an alley. Uh, going through the alley, uh, which one do you want? Do you want uh, this one or this one? Uh, the one that's most direct, probably. Uh, that would probably be right here next to Ottomans. Uh, that leads us to Zadar. Daphne, I'm going to need some stealth rolling. Okay, you. That's what I do. Okay. Are you still in the same same form? Uh yes, I have not okay. shifted form. Uh and of course I roll shitty. Uh 16. And Daphne? You're muted. Who has asked me for hot water before? I said that you rolled shitty. I rolled an eight. News. Uh, Otto is uh, sweeping off the front door and spots Daphne big as life. What are you doing out of prison? Never in prison. It's a lie. You were in jail. Everybody knows it. You killed that one guy. You, you know, your co worker. And he begins to chase you with his broom. <laughs> He's a witch! She's a witch! 19! He whacks you uh, top, middle, bottom. Very nice. Uh, he whops you with gas. What? He takes his broom, boom! Pops you right in the ass and begins to chase you around. Uh, people are running around laughing at the show. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is he chasing her? She and Lucky ripped her off. What? The day before. They were in yep. trying to shake him down. Oh. Yep. It was, I under, thought it. it was under duress. She didn't have a choice in it. Hey, he's chasing her, not you. <laughs> I'm yelling at him. She Daphne, didn't have a choice. He threatened her. Like, oh, yeah. Make me harder, Daddy. <laughs> uh, let's see how he reacts. Well, let's see how he reacts to that. Uh, he is ambivalent. Uh, does a 14 hit you? No. He swings at your head and misses. Apparently, that's not going to dissuade him at all. Uh, now the crowd is starting to form and people are laughing at this weird slapstick comedy going on. I start <laughs> dancing. So you're going to stay in one place? No, I'm going to like dance this, like around like a circle. Oh, okay. Well, he'll take another swing at you. 
aiming for your ass again and missing it wildly as you dance around in some kind of rhythmic gypsy thing. As the crowd, <laughs> you're just an old pervert. Nice. Uh, yeah. As the crowd turns against him, he turns back into his business, slamming the door solidly. Uh, Zadar, <laughs> you have reached the alley. Uh, Camille, Mortimer J. Sneed, who is <clears throat> writing down in the annals of unusual uh, experiences he's having. He's keeping a journal. Uh, he <laughs> follows you down the alley to the back of the twin tenements, four stories high, shaped in an E missing the middle. Okay. Cabrini mm. Green. Kind of it's, Cabrini Greenish. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Sweets for the sweet. Um, all right. Uh, Okay, um, I guess. Uh, are there any tenants out? In oh yeah, it, it, it's a hive of activity here in the merchant section. Uh, okay. There's woodsmen, uh, straw dealers, food vendors, etc. Everybody is to and fro, busy, busy, busy. Time to make the money. It's mon <laughs> It's morning time. Right. Right. Uh, so I stop somebody and say, "Hey, do you live around here?" Could be. Uh, looking for work? Uh, I was looking for a friend of mine. Her name's Sandra. Sandra O. D12? Jesus Christ. Three. Twelve. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I know Sandra. She lives here. Can you point me in the way of her apartment? I thought you said you were a friend of hers. I am. We work together, but I haven't ever been here before. third floor third door on the right thanks man whatever <laughs> oh, i don't need to be like that about it uh, there's a main staircase and it branches off for each floor four floors at this tenement house uh since you've read sneed's travel guide you notice that the tenement houses are suitable for family quarters as well as singles uh, mm -hmm. Folks at home, uh, Sneed's Guide to Cacophony will be available sometime next year. It's actually pretty good. It is very good. If I get off my ass, maybe I'll push it out sooner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Push it out of your ass. <laughs> hey, you guys were the ones in jail, not me. Oh, sorry. I did comedy not comedy sometimes in. just sorry. writes itself. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and it's for mature audiences. So, mm -hmm. uh, you guys go up to the third floor, third door on your left. Knock, knock, knock. Nothing. I take my staff. Tap, 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 tap. Nothing. Hmm. I'm just like, okay. I kind of size up the door and all that, and then I summon Omen on the other side of the door. Nice. To take a look around. Kind of dumpy, you know, mm -hmm. kind of uh, uh, bohemian is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. Is there so. anybody in there? Oh. Uh, does there appear to be anybody? There's a cat. Oh. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, that's Omen. Or there's another cat in there's there. There's another cat. Uh-oh. <laughs> no cat's in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Omen's a male, is he not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for what a fey creature can be, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cat on the other side is not happy at the intrusion by the fey cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is some loud hissing, some uh, back arching, some uh, gnashing of the claws, and it looks like it's going to go south of the border fairly quick. Hey, okay. What's the uh, cat's yeah. name? <laughs> Wait, yeah, what is her cat's name? I don't know. She doesn't have a tag on it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm seeing what Omen's seeing. So I hear it's this just like. And I go, kitty, 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 so, kitty, kitty. So suddenly cat. there's like the. the Tinkerbell poof and he just pop pops right out of there. Poof. Okay. So yes, uh it's a Bohemian apartment with a cat, uh, and a view to the west 
uh, overlooking. Uh, I have to scroll down to see what the hell it overlooks. Uh, the Bones Hall Gambling and the Brewmaster Supply. Hmm. Brewmaster. It also overlooks a little plaza. Okay. Um. Where's what's the plaza? Uh, it is one you guys have not been to. Actually, it is one that you've been to. This is where you found the dead guy and totally ignored it uh, with oh. Blake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was the other character, so that yeah. wasn't Zadar. So, mm-hmm. so Zadar hasn't been, been there. And I, I think uh, it was my Corona, so none of you have been there. No, it was Camille. No, that was, was the first me. time she, she played Camille. I went. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. right. So you're the only one that uh, recognizes this area. Mm-hmm. This was before you became an adventurous guild member. That's true. <laughs> Your early days. Your early days. Um, okay, so, all right, she's she's mm-hmm. not here. I totally, I did not expect her to be here. Oh, you just wanted to waste time so that she died. That's it. We've got so much <laughs> time. But Mortimer, I don't think she's going to die. No. Um, I think she's let, in cahoots for now. So, um, the only other place that I could think of to look for her would probably be Fredo's. Uh, when you mention Fredo's, you hear the loud growl of the stomach of Mortimer J. Sneed. He goes, <laughs> they do have good pasta there. <laughs> About what time of day is it? Uh, morning? Uh, you're getting mid morning. I mean, okay. you know, there's going to be. We might be there for an early lunch. In there, so they, we could probably talk our way in. Sure. <laughs> so that's where you guys want to go. Yep. Yeah, we'll we'll make our way there. Oh, this is not going to go yeah. well for me. Daphne, are you in agreement? Well, you can yeah. Change yeah. your form. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to trying to decide. Who was your Jessica Rabbit before? Yeah, I was about to say, she might be an ace up my sleeve for That's this. True. Uh, as you can tell, uh, the back of Alfredo's is just across the plaza if you want to go there, or you can go through the front door where the heart is located. Well, I mean, if we try to go in through the back door, that'll... That's just be... Whoa, 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 you're awful free with that term since you just got out of prison. <laughs> Well, I've seen things, man. <laughs> you can't unsee some shit. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, let's see. It was like a Turkish prison. Um, <laughs> yeah, like gladiator movies. <laughs> uh, I'm a big uh, fan. We'll just we'll just go around front. They've got to be opening by now, so. Uh, everybody goes around front. Mm-hmm. Daphne, uh, Camille, you agree? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You go around front. There's a sign on the front door. It says closed. Closed. Okay. Does it say when they open? Uh, it does not. Hmm. I knock on the door. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, a gruff voice answers. We're closed. Please, we love your restaurant. We're so hungry. And this is Mortimer J. Sneed, and he will write a glowing review of your establishment and his guide. Hi, I'm Mortimer J. Sneed. Uh, I've taught at the Grand Academy. I'm an instructor there. I'm currently on sabbatical here. (laughs) And the curtain opens up, and you guys, well, Camille doesn't, because she was my corona then. Zadar recognizes guys, uh, somebody that you know. Hmm. P- pretty boy Floyd. Yeah. And what does uh, pretty boy have to say? Is he like telling us to fuck off? Pretty We're closed. Much. That's what I thought. <laughs> Mortimer takes out his journal. Hmm. This review is turning south. This is a poor Yelp review. That's right. <laughs> I'm giving this one star. <laughs> it's just like, I think I know somebody that can get us in. So, <laughs> excuse me for a moment. <laughs> and I kind of 
go out of sight, you know, from the door and all that. And while and he's then, doing that, I go, tap, tap, tap. But we have our friend. We have a friend of yours with us. And yeah, I emerge as Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Fair enough. And it's just like, um, I approach the door in the window and knock on it. And I'm like, hello, handsome. Uh, the curtain parts again. Uh, it's not Pretty Boy Floyd this time. Oh. Uh, uh, it is somebody with a charisma of five. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just all, like all three teeth in his head are crooked. Uh, he has a lazy eye and a hair lick. Well, that Jessica up. should be able to. Why, well. Him. While you do have your charms, sir, um, I'm an acquaintance of the other guy. Boss says we're busy. Boss says, what'd you say, boss? Fuck off. Fuck off. I think he might want to see me. He says, fuck off, lady. Show him your boobs. Uh, no. I, I show the charisma of five guy your boobs. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, you've that's... seen Boondock Saints. You know how this ends, oh, right? Yes, you really need to see this. Come on. <laughs> when you get knocked over and accidentally he's... change, oh, you're gonna have to shoot him. Boss, yeah, but it's kind of busy right now. <laughs> oh man, Caitlin, hey, no. have you ever seen Boondock Saints? No, I have not. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. The, these are quality, these quality are, gems, right? Do you watch yeah. The Walking Dead at all? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, Daryl. Yeah. Daryl. Yeah, he's when he's he was one young. of the main, when he was it. young. Yeah, he's one of the main stars. So, um, uh, I, I um tell tell him it's just like, well, you tell Pretty Boy, it's his laws. And yeah, it's just what like did, what was your name that you gave him? Jessica. You, Jessica. Yeah, tell mm -hmm. him that Jessica is like pissed. Whatever. Nice cans. <laughs> no, yeah, I that that say, message is gonna get delivered. <laughs> I say I'm I'm wrapping on the door. I want to hear you tell him right now. He's not in the room. Yell at him. I'm not yelling at the boss. You just did. I'm going to go find the boss. You go find the boss. <laughs> you go find the boss. Because I'm going to stand here and I'm going to wail on this door all day long until we get the boss here. The initiative, everybody. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Seriously. Christ almighty, you got to be shitting me. Oh, God. 20, not natural. Five. 20, not natural as well. I got a one. <laughs> uh, two Guidos. Yes, I'm being very mean about it. Mm -hmm. Two Guidos walk out, uh, neither of whom you recognize. Uh, they're dressed in tank tops that are stained with uh, ravioli uh, <laughs> and their hairy chest overflows. Uh, they walk out and they poke. Caitlin in the oh. chest. Well, you guys need to leave. That's just rude. Now. <laughs> uh, Caitlin and Zadar, you guys are up. Hmm. All right. With that, uh, you want to go? Are we going to attack them? Or are we going to try to like talk? Well, them I mean, we got a counter or whatever. Uh, let me try this first. And I am going to cast with my action charm person. So it's a 14 wisdom. 15 plus zero. Yeah, they beat it. Damn it, I got to raise my, <laughs> find a way to raise my wisdom. We need a level. <laughs> no shit. So, anyway, okay, so that doesn't work. Do they feel it when I try to charm them? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Daphne, you also tied with Zadar. What are you going to do? Uh, I guess we're attacking, right? Uh, it's up to you. You could be nice. Yeah, yeah that, if you're that, nice, that, you nice, just like, step all over me. 
So. Your call. Um, they have not shown weapons. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack them. Okay. Like I said, our youngest and most deadly hobo. <laughs> Does what? 16 hit. Oh, yeah, easily. 12 to hit these guys. Okay. Just to get through Seven. their belly fat. <laughs> Seven damage. All right, now are you slicing and dicing, or are you, what are you doing? Just bitch slap them. No, yeah, no, I'm using my scimitar to attack. Oh. <laughs> Blood has been spilled, Camille. You're we're, up. We're going back to jail. <laughs> Okay, we all need to calm down here. Have you looked at this woman? Does she look like she's to be trifled with? No, Do you. Do you not think that pretty boy would want to talk to her? That's your action? And the retard said no? Yes, that's my action. Uh, the, the guy that you talk to is not one of these two. Yeah, I, I understand that. I said, but you're letting the retard, you know, gatekeep your door for you. Wow, the uh, racial slurs and slurs in general are just all what over the place. What racial slur did I utter? No, that was me, the Guido. That was, uh, yeah, I was about yeah. to say, that was the DM. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, is that your action? Yes. Yeah, we're going to try to talk our way out of this. Uh, they don't like your mouth, Camille, and they really don't like getting sliced by you, Daphne. So it is on like Donkey Kong. Uh, Camille, I don't think that's going to hit. Uh, 10? No. Uh, 19, uh, 22 on Daphne. Uh, they are unarmed. He just jacks you in the face. Uh, and with his meaty, sweaty arms, woo -hoo -hoo, six plus two, eight, bam, right in the face, knocking you backwards a little bit. Uh, top of the order, Zadar and Daphne. Hmm. Okay. I am seeing this. I am going to take action, and um, yeah, I'm going to cast Sleep. On them. Okay. Daphne, you're attacking at the same time. Oh, then I'm just... What? We are at the same time? You and Zadar are at the same time. Oh, man. Okay. I'll let you know what the pool is. 26. When they're asleep, can I still attack them, though? Oh, yeah, at advantage. Nice. Uh, it was the one that attacked uh, Camille is asleep. The other one is not. So, Daphne, you can just kick the shit out of this guy, but he's still awake. Okay. Um, 12. Don't, don't kick the guy that's down. Yeah, kick the guy. Attacking the guy that's alive. Awake. Yep. 12. Yep, that hits. And again, seven damage. Yikes. He is not looking good at all. You have just uh, Zoroed his ass. Uh, Camille, you're up. <coughs> uh, so one's asleep and one's down. Almost down. Yeah, take that guy out. Mm. They started it. Just remember that. They started it. <laughs> <laughs> Get, get your story straight now for when the cops exactly. I am just trying to figure out what the hell we just came here for lunch and that's right. And they attacked us. Mm -hmm. Um, unless you want to tie him up, if he's like damaged, it should be hard for him to fight back, right? And there's some disadvantage to that. For what? It's if we tie him up, and if he's like pretty hurt, bad, shouldn't there be like advantage to us now? I would assume. Uh, Camille, what are you doing? Um, tie him up. <laughs> okay, let's try to tie him up. Charcuterie. Uh, first you gotta tackle him. Mm. The dipshit that we're fighting? Yep. Oh, oh fuck. But it's like, Five. not 
What? <laughs> Camille dives for him, but uh, is unable to bring him down. There's uh, no damage on these rolls? I thought he was already down. No, no, no. Yours is down. Hers is almost dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, uh, just, I was going after him. Right. Mm. Okay. You're going after the one she's fighting, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's still alive. Uh, I didn't want to kill him. You're the only one, apparently. Uh, he's going to take a, another poke at Daphne. If he does more damage. I'm killing him. That's it. Uh, six plus two is eight. That's not going to do it. Uh, top of the order, Zadar and Daphne. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to use non-lethal force. Sure. So, so the first one I'm going to go, I'm just going to make an unarmed attack, try to sweep the leg. On him. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Yeah. So let's see. That Please be, be a one. <laughs> that's just a straight up D. Is that you trying remember. to it's, it's a maneuver. Modifier. There we go. Okay. 21. You sweep the leg. Okay. Uh, Daphne, uh, you're going to be attacking at disadvantage because as you swing, Zadar is sweeping the leg. Okay. Well, I mean, I've got the sneak attack too. So. Well. You trip him. Daphne, what are you going to do? Try to tie him up or catch him to like... To grapple him? Yeah. Okay. What would that be? Athletics or... Uh, just an attack roll. I'll uh, let you use dex or strength. Your choice. Okay. Use your highest. Yeah. Strength. Um, 19. Oh, yeah. You, you wrap him up successfully. Uh, Zadar, your sneak attack... Mm-hmm. Uh let's see. Uh we can just I do I guess that would be another unarmed attack, so at advantage because Daphne's got him wrapped up. Ooh, okay. That works. Okay, well the first type twenty two. <laughs> so what are you doing? uh two D six damage. You will knock him out. Yep. He's only got yeah. two hit points left. Oh, yeah, that knocks him out. <laughs> uh, Daphne, he slumps back across your uh, dead childless uh, non-armor this time. Uh, and you hear, <laughs> oh, my. my. <laughs> yes, he is your new armor. You have a greasy Italian all <laughs> strapped to, to, his, uh, to her chest. He's heavy, so you're going to have to drag him. Uh, Mortimer is rather puzzled at this display of martial artistry. Mortimer, I'm sorry. These are just... Should we have done this? Yeah, th this is I think different. we might have killed this guy. It's, no, it's fine. These are just the circles we were running. It'll be fine. He just saw Jessica Rabbit in like a bodiced armor and stilettos. Just Where is the dog at? <laughs> uh, he had to run an errand. It's like he's wearing glasses and he's Clark Kent. Could be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so you have one guy knocked out, one guy asleep. Yeah. We, I think we should enter the establishment. Yoo-hoo! You going to do anything with the unconscious guys? Tie him up. But is there better accounts or something in there? Inside? No, it's a restaurant. Oh, but uh, wait. We Let's just to, put some like mugs around them. Like we they need to loot them. them. Uh, what shit do they have? They're greasy Italian tanks. I That's don't yeah, they don't. Do they, they, they don't have, have weapons. They don't have anything. anything. No, nothing. Uh, mm -mm. God, just grease. Just they tie were, them. They up. were eating linguine. Okay, just tie. Them. Lash them together. You're you're killing they the wait staff here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, are, 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 are you going to tie them up like this in a yeah. overtly sexual pose? Yes. 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 Uh, like, Mortimer like, is distressed at this Like, like two that. Greek what wrestlers. Nothing homoerotic about it whatsoever. <laughs> I don't, I do not, I cannot condone these actions. I do not, I cannot be your barrister if this continues. Uh, you tie them up humping each other uh and open the door to find an empty restaurant uh you do not see the idiot nor do you see pretty boy floyd okay 
Uh, I will do, take perception checks. I was going to say, do we hear anything? Uh, Zadar rolled a 25. Five. 16. Uh, Daphne, you hear somebody rummaging around in the kitchen uh, near the back right. Zadar, you hear... Never ends well. Uh, behind a door on the left, it says office mm. on that door. Uh, I recognize uh, Toothless's voice pattern. And all that. Uh, I've got a thing for mimicry. No, like, because I'm a charlatan. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I'm going to go out to the door and bang on the door. Boss, you got to see this. Uh, Daphne, you notice that uh, the rummaging around in the kitchen has stopped, and it's dumbass uh, with noodles hanging out of his mouth. He's eating. Ugh. Hey, uh, what are you guys doing? The city noodles like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> he looks like Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Doctor Zoidberg. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so uh, he wants to know what you're doing, and he has with him a plate. Of spaghetti. Not We're you. Looking for that. We're looking for spaghettis. That that business has been out of work forever. Spaghettis? You might not have it on the East Coast. <laughs> That's a Midwestern restaurant. Spaghettis. All gone. <laughs> Wait, that's really a restaurant we're like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Not anymore. Spaghetti's oh, Eddie. Funny. Spaghetti Eddie's. Never From the seventies. Jesus. Just spaghetti's, but it's spa Eddie's. Uh, spa Eddie's. Eddie's. Yep. Yeah, See, you part... learned something. We at Murder Hobos just bring out culture. That's, that's it, doing. man. You're so talking to pop culturalists here. Yeah, he's standing there on a plate asking you what the hell you're doing inside. Standing on a plate? Standing there holding a plate. Oh, I was like, how is he standing on a plate not breaking it? He's a time traveler. It's <laughs> going to light up. He's going to say, Scotty, beam me up, and that plate's going to glow, and up he goes. Now, where is the office? Is it upstairs, downstairs? Right there to your left. Oh, okay. Does the he see kitchen is back there on the right. I'm gonna oh, go yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dumbass sees all three of you and wants to know what you're doing. Mm. For food. We're looking for food. He doesn't like the looks of you. He drops the plate, breaking it. Really? Picks, he doesn't like Jessica? Picks oh, up no, Picks up a chair. Two. And heaves it at Camille. 15 plus food. two does a 17 hit you. Yeah, I'm going to kill his ass. Three hit points of damage as you catch a chair in the face. Initiative, everybody. <laughs> That's not much better. Six. Better than that. Rolling initiative. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. 20. Not natural. 18. Uh, Camille, you're up first. Uh, Toothless has uh, thrown a chair at you pissed me off okay so uh, meanwhile star you're still hearing i gotta take care of this guy first <laughs> so i'm going to attack with my quarter staff fifteen uh, that is good enough to hit him okay and in the balls! I left work <laughs> with the wrong glasses today, so what do I need to roll? Uh, damage, uh, d6, straight okay, up. Thank you. Ooh, six! Oh boy, poor Guido. Uh, Guido. <laughs> next up, 18, Zadar. Okay, is he still stunned from Camille's hit? He's not stunned, but he's feeling it. Okay, uh, I break out uh, a thin piece of leather and I'm wrapping it around his neck. I'm gonna attempt to yes. kind of suit him, gar garrot him, <laughs> hit him. I'm at least gonna choke him out. <laughs> uh, 
Did you get this from your David Carradine closet collection? Nice. Exactly. <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? I guess it's not. been a while. No. Okay. So what am I rolling on unarmed? Caitlin's event? looking at us like, I don't know what the hell that joke is either. <laughs> no. <it's... laughs> oh, okay. You can Google David Carradine death later. Oh, no. <laughs> She's a big girl. She's 26. She can handle that shit. Michael no. Hutchins. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think I get him with a 13. Uh, you do not get him with that. No. Uh, Caitlin, you do not get to go yet because you got the six. Uh, I will go after. Uh, I'm going to go after Zadar this time with a kick. Kick. Good luck. Uh, three, so successful. that is not going to work. Mm -mm. Uh, Caitlin, you're up. I block. <laughs> Wait, what's your stilettos? David White? David Carradine. Oh, she's Googling it now, huh? Yes. Yes, yes. Kung Fu, Legend of Kane. Come on. Come on. The Kung Fu's been off the earth since 72. And it's she yes. Michael Hutchins. Death. Oh, that's oh, true. No, no. <laughs> All right, we're attacking him. This is what everyone. Yeah, let, that's let, what let's just get doing. on the comeback. We'll we'll look this up later, <laughs> Caitlin. Yeah, I know. We'll send you the links. Oh Kill Bill. God. It's auto erotica. <laughs> yeah, Kill Bill. He was Bill. The five point pinger. She's five, a, five finger. Yeah, I can see five. that blank look in her eye from no, here. No, I don't kill Bill. I don't. Okay. Kill. Yeah. No so it was Bill. It was Bill. Bill hung himself in a closet while. <laughs> anyway, you're up. In real life? Okay, yes. 19. Yes. <laughs> yes. And he's dead. <laughs> yes. This is not just D&D. This is uh, learning facts. This is civilization, yeah. We only teach facts that are of the death and the bad things, though. Or sexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you want to do, Daphne? Attack with my Simsara for 19. That hits. Nice. And then seven damage. He God. <laughs> There's blood everywhere. Uh, Caitlin or Daphne, you're just covered in blood because they're just spurting blood left and right. Top of the order. Uh, that leads us to Camille. Finish this guy off if you want. And Camille says, that's so sexy. Yeah. Is there like, like a freezer, like a meat freezer we could put him in after? Uh, no, Frigidaire's not been yet. Uh, hasn't been. <laughs> hasn't been oh, she's throwing him in the fucking hay bale. That worked real well last <laughs> the time. The last time, yeah. So I'm trying to hit him. I'm sure they got a meat yep. locker, so. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's got to be somewhere they store, like, food. Cellar. Yeah, we'll put him yeah, there. Sell it. Put him on ice. Catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you got to do your David Caruso. Uh, that's true. I think I got a... 16? That hits. Okay. Damn it. Your little dice roller is pissing me off. Uh, two. Unconscious. Or actually, zero hit points, since you guys are not going non-lethal. Uh, he groans. He's quite heavy, Daphne, and he falls to the ground. Landing his face on the plate. <laughs> Murder by plate. Now he's covered in noodles. Mm -hmm. he How many hit points does it have? Oh, he's zero. He had 15. Oh, yeah. And what does he have now? Zero. zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is he dead? He is unconscious. He's at zero hit points. He'll need to be stabilized or he will die. I'm not doing it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Behind you, you hear, what the hell are you guys doing here? And it's Pretty Boy Floyd. New initiative. Oh, uh, come on. Like he, he knows what he's doing. Like he doesn't recognize Jessica. 21. We're doing initiative again? Yep. Pretty Boy Floyd's come out of the woodwork. 15. <laughs> That's him? That's that's him. Him. It says he was murdered, potentially. Uh, Autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> he, hung him, <laughs> he hung himself in the closet with a belt around his neck while he was... Is she talking and, about David Carradine or Pretty Boy mm -hmm. Floyd? Yeah, it's in chat. Oh, okay. Sorry. They may find Pretty Boy Floyd like that. That's true. 
Yeah, it wasn't suicide. It was accidental death. Which is so sad. Uh, you'd be the one to take the hand off the crank and tell me it's sad. It is sad. He was okay. just trying you know, to, you know, do something. As Trump calls it, thigh land. And it's thigh food, you know, not Thai food. Thigh food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good lord. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you're awesome. Uh, Daphne, what is, what is your initiative? Uh, it is. I was going to make a joke, but man, that was bad. What is it? 10. Not good enough. Uh, Zadar, you're up first. Pretty Boy Floyd is armed and dangerous, and he's covered in blood. And I was just like, and I just look at him just like, Pretty boy, is this is this how you treat all your girlfriends? Come give me a hug, darling. Sure. As you walk over, you forfeit initiative. I'm going to stab you. Oh, He's going to try. What the hell? Evil. Uh, two and a 16. One miss. One plus four. Dirty 20 does hit. Uh, Zadar... He punches through your abdomen with a dagger and gives you four hit points. That's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> Why would you uh, do that to him? Or 18. Her. her. <laughs> 18, Camille, you're up. So four points of damage, right? Mm -hmm. So it's... When you get a dagger, we take it out of your stomach, right? Yeah. It's oh, cool. he just pure. He, he just, just pierced her. Stabbed him. He, he pushed just her back. That's pretty yeah. boy, and that's it. That's it. I'm gonna berate him. <laughs> yeah, sure, go ahead. And say, she has been waiting all this time to see you, and we finally give her back to you, and that's what you do. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, next up, Daphne. We're not attacking. Um, oh my god, Kyle's not DMing. Don't yawn. Yeah, that hurts my feelings. Uh, <laughs> Zadar is uh, stabbed, or Jessica Rabbit is stabbed. I don't know. Behind you, you hear, Why would you stab a woman? Exactly. <laughs> That's his mother. That's yeah, I'm just kidding. Thank you, Morty. Um, I guess. I'll put. I don't even know. Are we trying not to attack? We're trying oh no, to. we're attacking. <laughs> That's sure. just Zadar talking. He's just pissed because he got stabbed. He got shanked. You came out of prison. You should know what that is. Mm -hmm. You got we're just shanked. Trying to convince him that it was a girl. What do you want to do, Daphne? Come on, Daph. <laughs> I'll cast Bless. On? My party? Not on him. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, top of the order, Zadar. So that gives us, what, a plus four? A Bless of three creatures. Um, whenever a target makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, a target can roll a d4 and add the number to attack roll or saving throw. Okay. So Zadar, you're up. You've okay. been shanked. I've been shanked. How far away is he from me? Has he he's like on moved? You. No, no, he's on. He's moved you maybe three feet back. Okay. All right. Well, since he's that close, we're gonna do the death embrace. <laughs> I pull out the naked lady dagger. Okay. And thrust it into his abdomen. Hit him. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That would be dagger. Okay, uh, 17. 17 does hit. Okay. And you got a shit ton of hit points. Uh, that. Okay, he's going to take a total of uh, nine points of damage. 
Okay. Uh, his turn. You are the closest, so he will stick with you. I'm going to cunning action, dodge. So disadvantage on one mm-hmm. or both? Uh, both, actually. Okay. Oh, you got lucky there. Uh, still a 16, so... Uh, 16 misses. Dirty. Uh, no, 16 on the roll. Oh. Uh, plus five, so 21. Oh, yeah, 21. Uh, <laughs> it is the scimitar this time, though. Two plus three is five as he slashes you across your cheek. Uh, Camille, what would you like to do? Um, 19, Camille hits. Four damage. Uh, Caitlin, or Daphne, you're up. All right, I attack. And it looks like I'm going to miss. Now, the D4, it can be added to damage or just attack? Either or, I think. Mm, okay. So did you want to add your D4? Because once you use it, you lose it, right? Right. No, I'm going to hold it until the next attack. No, her. Oh. oh. Would a D4 even help you hit? Mm, me? Yeah. I'm at nine. Uh, you're going to hit him. Uh, top of the order, Zadar. Okay. Uh, with that, I am going to return the favor with my scimitar. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. Lucky number, 17. Okay, hit. That hits. 15 is your magic number to hit this guy. Okay. Uh, 11 points uh, damage as I pay him the kind, uh, I return in kind. Fair enough. Right, right across his pretty face. Uh, one. Camille, D12 against me for something that you guys have no idea about. Oh, crap. Uh, hang on. Seven. Find my 12. Oh, Back in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's like, your yep. cell's warm. It was just a very lucid dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, Sneed takes a couple steps back to avoid it. All three of you are in melee. The scimitar is going after one uh, Camille. The dagger is going after three Zadar. A two for the scimitar and a nine for the dagger. Uh, 14 didn't get you, does it, Zadar? Uh-uh. Swing at a miss. Camille, you are up. Ten? Not even close. Daphne. Oh, man. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, 16. Yeah, that hits. That hits. Nice. And I don't know how I keep doing this. Seven damage. Chipping Ooh. away at him. Zadar, top of the order. Okay. Uh, another uh, scimitar attack. Uh, this time it's uh, ooh, uh, 26 to hit. Hits. Okay, and uh, let's see, that is... An X well. Okay, that is only seven points of damage. The sneak attack is coming. And that's an additional three points of damage, so ten points of damage total. Got it. Scimitar is a three. Dagger is a five so dagger on daphne scimitar on zadar uh nine for the dagger two for the scimitar camille you're up wait damage or try to hit us try to hit you oh okay not even close dice have gone cold he's got blood in his eye that's right five swing and miss daphne 
Oh, nine. I'm doing real bad. Yes. Zadar. Okay. Combat's going fast. Round yep. five. Okay, with that, uh, 18 to hit with the scimitar. Uh, eight points uh, damage with that, followed by uh, uh, for the stink attack, additional six, so eight plus six. Okay. Uh, scimitar, one, Camille. Dagger, three, Zadar. Uh, Camille will be straight on. Uh, 15 plus five and nine plus five is 14. Camille takes three hit points of damage. Oh, nope. Four hit points of damage. My bad. Oh, shit. He gets three total attacks. I'll get that next time. Uh, Camille, you're up. Um, 16. Hits. Yeah. What can I say? Zadar likes them deadly. <laughs> he is kind of a boss level. Six. Three. Nicely done. Uh, Daphne. 12. Miss Zadar. Okay. Round uh, six. Mm. All right. Uh, again, scimitar. Okay. Uh, scimitar. Uh, uh, miss. Uh, 13. 13 misses. 13 sure. does miss. Yeah. Um, and with that, I'm going to move about, I'm going to use my move um, bonus action to disengage. Okay. Okay. Uh, see who the dagger goes for. Zadar, if it's you, he's going to throw it. Uh, it is you. He's going to throw his dagger, slash the ladies. So Camille... Uh, that's a 5, plus 5 is a 10. Uh, that is a 12, does a 17 hit Daphne? Oh, it does. Okay, so you're going to take the 6 plus 3. 9 hit points of damage. Zadar, he whips his dagger and will not have it. Uh, 18 plus 5 is 23. Yeah, that hits. Uh, wow. Wow. Three plus three is six damage as he thumps you one in the breast. You have boobage damage. Ouch. Camille, you're up. Twenty. At twenty. Yep. Uh, damage, damage modifier. You're using your staff, so just two d six. Three. And three. Very nice. Everybody hears Mortimer J. Sneed retching, throwing up. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Mortimer. Poor Mortimer. 21. A hit. That hits. Mortimer's not in the room, by the way. Six damage. Ouch. Top of the order, round seven. Okay, that's Zadar, right? Yep. All right. Okay. Oh, pretty boy oh, Floyd crap. ain't so pretty anymore. Oh, uh, that pretty face. Whatevs. Break, breaks my heart. Uh we just been attacking everywhere but the face. He was okay. on the inside. Uh, bracers of flying daggers. So huh? two daggers appear. And immediately I attack. So, okay, the first one is uh, 13 to hit. That misses, obviously. And the second is an 18 to hit. That hits. Okay. 
what that is, um, that is six points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, only the ladies are within range. Oh, man. Camille? At 20. Daphne? Oh, shit. 15 plus 5, dirty oh, 20. All right, yeah. Camille's going to take 8 plus 3, 11. How are you and doing, Camille? <laughs> 6 well, plus 3, 9 to Daphne. Okay. You got your you got your potion, right? That's true. Uh Camille, you're up. I guess I'll take my potion. Uh the what ones did I give you? Just regulars? I don't remember. Uh, uh yeah. We get one D eight plus two, no ones. Uh Daphne, that brings us to you. Uh I gotta lay my hands on myself. Okay. Touch yourself. Yeah, I only. Lady, have two you only have, how much? Two left. <laughs> Next up, Big Red. We'll see how Pirate Dog Dice uh, deals with these odd fish that are playing games. Uh-huh. Zidar, you're odd up. fish games. Folks. Top of the order, round nine. This okay. is a minute and a half fight. <laughs> Mortimer okay. is still retching in the other room. All right. So I am going to cast Chill Touch. So Skeletal Hand is going to reach out and just bitch slap um, uh, Pretty Boy. One. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. No. <laughs> Net 20. Biatch. <laughs> okay. So the damage is 2d8 necrotic. And uh, let's see. Uh, I rolled those, right? Mm-hmm. 2d8. Okay, total of 14 is the damage. Pretty Boy Floyd now looks like something out of Raiders of the Lost Ark as his face Yay. just uh, dwindles back. Uh, he ain't coming back from that damage. Uh, again, the retching is very loud in the other room. I turn uh, to it. Comfort Mortimer. Uh, he is in the office. He has wandered off and gone into the office, which is where Pretty Boy Floyd came from. And I'm just like, ladies, we okay? And I run to the office door. Hey, are you guys okay? I don't give a shit. I'm going this way. <laughs> what would I have rolled? Our, our witness is in that room. I would have rolled a net, a net 20. Damn. Pirate dog dies, folks. Uh, Zadar is correct. Your witness is in that room. Sandra O oh has had her face beat in and is dead. Oh. Dead. Dead. Well, this uh. doesn't look good. Uh, Mortimer takes the back of his hand and wipes his mouth off. I'm sorry. I've just never seen any damage like this. This is atrocious. Whips out his pen and parchment and begins to uh, take notations. Maybe you should not do that right now. You're right. I need to sit down. So he goes behind the desk and sits down. (sighs) (laughs) Sandra O's uh, corpse is in front. Uh, Her jaw has been broken in several places. An eyeball is hanging out. Uh, The beating of a lifetime has been doled out by pretty boy Floyd and the front door of the establishment is kicked in with a loud no, clatter for the as the of voices God. of the two naked guys are screaming to be untied <laughs> moments later. That's right. Gibble and Harris enter the room and scream. What the hell's going on here? How did they get there? Uh, there's two naked guys hogtied together in the middle of the plaza where Alfredo sits. Uh, I don't God hear. damn it. Here, uh, you know what? Let's take a look at why they got called here. Uh, you left the two naked dudes, which was hilarious to pose them, uh, right here. 
<laughs> Somebody saw him. Yeah. They're... Hello. They were trying to do consensual sex in public. Just yeah. leave it like that. Maybe, maybe not. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, Gibble and Harris demand answers. And it's just like, gentlemen, these these men, these these two, they they accosted us. Are you still Jessica? Mm hmm. Oh, yes. They accosted her. And sexually? Yes. Yeah, sexually. <laughs> I, we were trying to defend her, and it was. So, we just came here for lunch. It I was mean. so disturbing. And oh my God, I'm going to cry. Persuasion, Camille, persuasion, Zadar. And then, then we heard. Investigation, Daphne. I'm not said anything. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, not too bad. 17. What was yours, Camille? 18. Uh, Daphne? 24. I mean, come on. I mean, this is just so horrible. I mean, we're all bloody and shit, so. Yeah, everything is bloody in this room. Yeah, I know. The other they room. Were so awful. Somebody they has were... butchered a hog out here. They were gonna violate her. Come, uh, Daphne, give me insight. Insight. Sixteen. Uh, you point out something interesting to the crowd. Because that, the missive that you have found as these two are crying Okay, don't make me punch you. <laughs> so Luca, am I supposed to say this? Is Zoran Zubak? Zubak? How do we say it? Why are making me read things? <laughs> You're saying it right. Okay. Luca is Zoran Zorbak? Is that what she's saying? Yep. Wow. So while Camille and Zadar have successfully persuaded the two investigators, uh, Daphne has investigated the desk and found a piece of paper linking, allegedly, Zoran Zubak as being DeLuca. Okay. So we are going to weave all this together for Gibble, for Crockett and Tubbs here. So, <laughs> <laughs> Persuade me. Okay. Okay. Uh, 16. Come on. 19. Was the DC? No, was my role. Oh, okay. So we're doing verses, huh? <laughs> I'm not buying that. I buy that you guys were defending yourself, but I really can't see those two being connected. Uh, Daphne, he asks you for the paper. I show them the paper, but don't hand it over. Persuade me. La la la. Yeah, I can just like you can... La la la. <laughs> Persuade. Nineteen. And, uh, they read the missive and they begin to start to piece things together. Uh, the two naked guys come wandering in, under guard, uh, see that their boss is dead. Uh, who wants to D12 against me to see if they lawyer up? I, they want uh, I just want to tell them, hey, you fags. Nice. You can't say that on TV. I know. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go against you. I just want to be you. hurtful. I asked them if they need a new job. Eight. <laughs> Two. It was all him. It was all him. That's the guy. He's the one. <laughs> we, got, we, are, uh, we, we were tied up by him. <laughs> uh and this seems like a very good place to stop for the night Probably. uh because uh 
you ain't ready for what happens next. <laughs> uh, so uh, the group has uh, uncovered the third member of the syndicate and dispatched him rather bloodily. Uh, and they have found information as well as Mortimer J. Sneed, who has also found some information that allows him to start putting all of the clues together. Uh, birthday girl, what'd you think? I was like, who? Who? <laughs> that was so yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so long ago. <laughs> um, it's good. I'm glad we're out of jail. I'm glad it was fairly easy. Well, to- currently out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> fairly easy to get out of jail, too. And I'm glad we got um, multiple fights, and even though I almost died. I know. You're I'm welcome. sorry. I'm not a healer. Gosh. <laughs> And you guys are now short mm-hmm. some healing We're going to have to go shopping again. Uh, David, what you I think? enjoyed it. I did. I did. And I, I knew Jessica Rabbit would come back to haunt me. So <laughs> He was unimpressed. He, he had, had business. 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 I'm doing business here. Doing business I everywhere. Uh, looking for those blank credit cards that Eddie Murphy <laughs> has. Uh, Carrie, last but not least, what would you think? I should have cast Bog Cloud. No. Yes. Yeah. That would have put us all at disadvantage. Yes. Yes. Every time. It always works out in the end. Does it? It does. So far. So far. (laughs) Anyway, yes, I had a great time. There you go, folks. Uh, We're ending a little bit early because obviously the next stage of this is. And you're not, Kyle. So we don't and I'm not like, Kyle. Cause, oh know, my god, I'm so tired. You know, Caitlin can stay awake for our show. And that's I the mean, important I'm part. beyond 25. Uh, Once when you get over that hump, you're just old. Oh god, wait till you're 30. I, I'm getting closer! Wait till you're 55. <laughs> I say. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Cacophony Soap Opera. It seems to be wrapping up. Uh, and that is no lie uh we're glad that you uh sat in uh and hope you enjoyed it as much as these guys did follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our stuff it's down there if you want to join us in discord it's down there most importantly if you want to join us for a one shot or the talk show m hobo inc twitter gmail uh let us know we will get in contact with you thanks pirate dog dice for almost letting me kill you guys uh with the high rolls and of course this game didn't stink due in part to adventure sense by oddfishgames.com make sure your game doesn't stink by adding adventure sense uh except for the sewer jesus christ avoid the sewer it stinks to high heaven uh please join us saturday with the campaign uh those fuckers are all in jail too a lot of jailing this week uh but you know what i'm gonna give you a spoiler alert if you tune in on saturday somebody's getting executed nice there ain't nothing they can and to stop it uh folks for all of us here at murder hobo inc thanks for joining us uh please join us saturday uh if not have a great weekend have a safe weekend bye everybody bye 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 you're muted sort of maybe um there you go and done yes Yes.